Hey you guys, it's Toya and thank you for watching Toya JTV. It is week 22 of the How to Stretch Your Relaxer series. We are only two weeks away from Relaxer Day. So what I'm going to do, um, these next few weeks I'm going to just kind of be preparing my hair um, for the relaxer. So this week I shampooed with the Silk Hydration by L. Jones Clarifying Shampoo. I did that twice this time because I needed it to be extra clean. Um, and then I, because I had a lot of uh, residue, I went a little bit longer instead of a week. I went maybe a, a day or so over. So I felt like that extra day added like that much more residue to my hair. So anyway, I shampooed it twice with the clarifying shampoo. Then I came behind that with the uh, extreme moisture. Okay, after that, I put on the replenishing conditioner, but this time I kind of combed it all the way through. Normally, I just put it on and I just kind of just try to finger it, but this time I made sure to get it on every single strand. I let it sit for a little bit longer. I let it sit for about uh, five to 10 minutes. Normally, I just kind of let it sit for a minute or so and rinse it off, but I let it sit for about uh, a little longer this time. Um, then I rinse that out and this is where we are here. Okay. So what I'm going to do before I apply the, um, leave-in conditioner, that's the stage we're at now I'm about to apply the leave-in conditioner. So, um, this time what I'm going to do is take it in sections because I want to make sure my hair is extremely moisturized. Okay. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of take it in sections. So I'll make this top part a section. So it's going to be three sections. So this top part will be a section and then for the back I'm going to split that in two. So there's two sections. So I'm going to section this off. And then I'm going to use my leave-in conditioner. Spray generously this other section. And then I'm taking my wide tooth comb, starting from the ends. You don't ever want to start from the top when your hair needs detangling. Okay, so I'm starting from the ends. And see how easy it's gliding through? The, de the leave in conditioner helps to detangle. So it makes it that much easier to detangle the hair. If you're having a difficult time detangling, just wherever you're having a difficult time is, say it's getting tangled right in here, just take some more leave-in conditioner, spray it in that concentrated area. Then you kind of want to scrunch it in. Okay. And resume detangling. Okay, and there you go. So that section has already been detangled. So I can go from root to tip, from root to tip. Okay, and then there's on, you can see in that cone, there's a few strands, that's normal shedding. Okay, can you see that? There's just a couple of strands. All right, you should not be having handfuls of hair, especially if it's only been one week after you detangle. So now I'm going to come to this side, do the same thing. I'm starting with the ends. Then I'm just going all the way to the top. And if it's your new growth that feels kind of crunchy, at, crunchy at this point, just spray it right on the new growth. It'll soften it up. And 
and you don't have to be real aggressive with it. Just let the cone glide right through. Don't force it. If you feel the hair getting snagged, then you just spray some more leave-in conditioner right there. And it will help you de to detangle that part. Okay, so now the back sections have been detangled. Now we're moving on to the top section. And I'm lifting the hair up because I don't want the conditioner just sit on top. I want it to work its way all the way through this whole section. So I'm lifting it up and making sure that it gets inside. And again, so I'm starting from the ends. It may look like I'm starting from the middle of this hair, but it's the ends of the hair that's at that top section. Okay, so I feel the section right there that has a deeper tangle, about right there. Okay, now it's just gliding right through. Okay, so right there, I feel a little snag. The leave-in conditioner is your friend, okay? And that's why I made it in the spray bottle. It's not a cream base. It's a spray, a liquid base, so that you can use however much you need and it still will not weigh your hair down. Okay, so now we're detangled. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, I'm probably just gonna wear it straight again. So I'm gonna go ahead and part it. Okay, you can barely even see my scalp, but it's, there it is. <laughs> That's about five and a half months of new growth. So at this point, what I'm going to do is um, let it air dry for just a little bit. Um, and that's just because I don't like to blow dry my hair while it's practically soaking wet because it takes so much longer. Um, so I'm going to let it air dry just a little bit. But what I am going to do is apply a little bit of silky serum oil. Okay, I'm going to put that all over. And let that kind of dry in with my hair. And then when I blow dry it and flat iron it, I won't need to put any other kind of moisturizers on it. And then I'm just going to kind of comb that through. Okay. 
I did about a quarter size amount this time. All right, so since I'm gonna let that air dry, what I'm gonna do is um, to kind of lay my edges down a little bit, I'm gonna tie it up. Cause I actually have an errand to run. I have to drop my baby off at school and I have to go by the store. So I'm not gonna go out with soaking wet hair, but what I am gonna do is um, tie this down. Y'all hear the baby? He's helping me out. So I'm going to tie this down with my scarf. And that will help lay my edges down. So even if I still feel the need to put uh, edge, edge control... <laughs> Even if I still need to put edge control on, y'all forgive him. He's watching Mickey Mouse. He's getting a little excited. But um, even if I have feel the need to put edge control on, uh, it, I won't need that much because I'm already doing most of the work by laying it down with my scarf. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down like this and then... I'm going to put a wig on on top of this, but I will come back. By the time I get back, it'll be air dried enough to where I'm going to go ahead and blow dry it and flat iron it. So I will be right back. All right, you guys. So I'm back and I have just, um, the only thing I did was just took my scarf off. And this is what you see here. You see um, my edges are already kind of laid down for me. So it takes a lot of the work out. Uh, my part is completely gone. That's just because it's just so much new growth you can't see it um it was about right there okay so i'm gonna blow dry the rest um pretty much the same way i'm gonna do it in sections all right so i'm gonna do it Part it down the middle somewhat and get this side out of the way. And then this section, I'm going to make that two sections. So we'll have a back section, a top section, and a bottom section. All right, so I'm on. I've already have my uh, silky serum oil on the hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry. It feels soft already. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to this side. So that's how I detangle, that's how I blow dry. And now we will move on to uh, the flat iron. See how straight that is. Doesn't even look like I'm on week 22, but that's how it's that's how it's supposed to be. 
So what I'm going to do now is uh, wrap it. I don't have to go anywhere for um, a couple of hours. So I'm going to wrap this up for a little while and then I'll take it down and I'll come back and show you the takedown.